what would be one of the key things you think to growing on, say YouTube in particular, because he's done some mad growth in the last Down to the garden, took a little dip on me, damn my bitch, took a little trip. Down to the garden, took a little dip on me. To the valley, to the valley of the shit, to the, to the valley of the shadow of death. That's why I keep a cross on my chest. Cross on my chest, either that or a vest. Do you believe that Eve had Adam in check? And if so, you can. What is good, people? Right now, we just finished training. If you haven't seen that vlog, go check it out. I'm a vlogger. <laughs> I'm skinny fat, day four year old. Can I still get in shape or am I screwed? Of course you can. It doesn't matter what age you are. When you exercise, you burn calories. When you eat clean, you're gonna lose weight. And there's many YouTubers out there, like over 50, that are like. There's bodybuilders over 50 that are in better shape than me. And that are natural. That are more lean than I've ever been, too. In my opinion, if you're skinny fat, you're in a great shape. It means that you can see a big difference quicker because yeah. you're normally just like, you're thin up here and you just gotta be able to belt. Exactly. Yeah, as soon is. as you start eating the right food and just get to the gym, you're gonna. Yeah, and if you've never trained before, I'd say you could, you could eat in a small deficit and still build muscle. I'd say you could if you've never trained. Yeah, if you've never trained because yeah. your body's not used to that stimulus. Exactly, so you will drop body fat and put on a bit of size. There's no excuses, man. They don't care what age you are. You could be 50 and ask me this question. You can always make a difference. Someone actually asked me a couple days ago was who was the starter of the 24 hour eating videos in fitness. Matt does fitness, he caught it in a blue wolf. So, to a lot of people, he's the first person who's done it. <laughs> but I've done it. Go check it out. I've done only eating protein bars for 24 hours. But I did that as well. Before Body Power this year. So, I'm an OG in this game. This isn't really fitness, but your best tips to increase confidence, self-esteem, and stop thinking, well, look at what people are breathing. To increase confidence and self-esteem, get yourself into the gym. That's a good one. I was, I was a shy person growing up. I was always shy. And I, I can't really credit anything other than going to the gym. Was you shy really before you started YouTube, or did you already kind of beat, beat it? Ah, by them? I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was a shy kid. I wasn't shy to people I knew. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. But I mean, doing YouTube definitely made me less shy to strangers. I think the same. When I, if you actually watch like my first ever vlogs, I never used to do vlogs. I'd be like, yeah. how to build triceps. But when I started vlogging, I used to have a channel with three people, and they just wasn't really on it as much. So eventually, I decided, you know, I'm doing it myself. And learning how to vlog, I was so. You can go the video still up. You'll see me like this, I look at the camera, I'm like, hey guys, today's video, I'm looking <laughs> everywhere, put the lens. You check out my first video, you won't even know what I'm saying. Like, I have a common Dublin accent, it's not, it could be more common, but it's like, I, I've learned to speak clearer just because of that. Because if you watch my first video, I know for a fact, you will not know a word I'm saying. I still struggle with that because I speak very, very, very quick. Same. So it's kind of like, I, sometimes in the edit, I have to slow it down. Yeah, like, hello. Yeah. Ah, you know, a good one. What would be one of the key things you think to growing on, say YouTube in particular, because he's done some mad growth in the last, yeah. the um, last, last year. I would say jump on anything that's relevant. And every video, in the fitness, every single video does not need to be a vlog. Yeah, that is very true. Because I know, my most viewed videos aren't vlogs. I think vlogs is like a hope, a good hope for an audience you already have. And build like a, like a rapport with them. Yeah. Think, uh, think of ideas that can branch out past your audience, bring people in, and they watch the vlogs. So I I'd I'd just say jump on what's relevant. So if something's relevant in the industry you're in, jump all over it. AKA, that's why I did the 24 hour videos. I hate those food videos, right? Because they make me feel so like shit, but they work. Like I did a recreation of these 24 hour protein ones for the first one. That one did really well. I did, uh, I've done pizza, we did pizza the same day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which was mad. <laughs> and then I did McDonald's and I've done Nando's, which did very well. But yeah, man, that is definitely true because like, I always do vlogs because I love doing vlogs because I just really enjoy them. Yeah. But like in terms of actual growth, the vlogs are good for like your, to build a friendship and an audience, then that's good. Yeah. But for new people, you gotta always do. Unless you're Logan Paul and you have millions to spend on crazy shit. Or, or Casey Nice, like if, you're, if your vlogs was that yeah. dope, like people want to share them. It's, it's not even as vlogs, this life is dope. Yeah. You know, my life's not dope. Yeah, I'm, I'm a normal basic. guy, yeah, I'm exactly. a normal guy, so it's exactly. kind of hard. See. If you're a basic guy and you don't have a personality, that's a big one. Some people that go, to cool, check out my vlog, and they're just like, oh, hey guys. Yeah. It's not just, like, people think the YouTube video is how you make the money, which for me, it's not. Like, the views yeah. on YouTube, I don't make a lot. It's like the affiliates, it's the sponsors, 
it's like everything but the YouTube where you normally exactly. make the most cake. And um, so people always go like, how much views you're getting? Do you make views money after that? I'm like, no. I, I don't, don't think people realize until you're pulling in big numbers. Yeah. The ads that get put in your videos don't have the highest CPM rate. They used to like years and years yeah, and yeah, years ago. Yeah, they apocalypse shit. Like us smaller ish YouTubers. We just get thrown the shit out. Exactly. But that is definitely like one that needs to be eye open because everyone always hits me up and goes, I want to start YouTube, can I make money? I'm like, if you're starting it for that reason, you've already lost. You start YouTube <laughs> and then start a business to make money. Yeah, it's got to be a genuine business. Can't be some bullshit. No fucking details. Soft tea. porn. <laughs> How do you combine progressive overload with the correct execution of an exercise? Ooh, that's some really articulate shit. How do you like basically I press over that fucking like form? You have to be ready for it. If, if you can't put, like if you can't execute the lift with perfect form, then you're not ready for the progressive overload. Wait, Get I back to your bitch weight. Mind Get back to your bitch weight. like it can be the last piece said. When do you know, when do you think it's uh, right to like when do you know when to when the weight the weight you're using when you when you execute the lift and you get off. Let's say the bench press. And like shit, that was light. Yeah. You're ready for some progressive overloads. Another way to monitor is right, my opinion is like for example if you're doing three sets of some three sets of eight, yeah. If all three sets of eight is easy, Perfect. the very last set, I feel like you should only get to six. Like you should be struggling yeah, yeah. and then when you can actually complete the eight, then move up the weight. I feel that's an easy, easy way to track it if you don't like right. And to be honest, I've never really tracked progressive overloads. As my time. when I'm bulking, as my body weight goes up, oh, I just yeah. get stronger. But um I've never, in, I've never tracked weight when I'm lifting. It's always just how I feel on the day, and as a few months pass, I just noticed the weight is 10 kilo heavier. I've yeah, never, like, yeah. it's never been a thing I kept track of or was conscious about. It just happens because I'm me. I'm the king of Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> I got a DM saying, "I have a thousand euro. What will you do?" <laughs> Let's get short and speak with them. Who gets more bitches? <laughs> I'm a virgin. No, 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 it's all right. I'm gonna tie it down. I don't get no bitches. The question was, who's the better YouTuber? No, 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 sorry. <laughs> This is a guy that refused to dance in London yet, and he's in it every second now, just kind of shaking it down. I would say in terms of who's a better YouTuber, it's all relative. I would say... Because nobody's a better YouTuber. Yeah, it's all from the viewer that counts, because they may go, oh, actually, but I like yeah. XYZ. See, you only watch people because you're interested in a certain something they do. So, I mean, you could never compare Steve Cook to Casey Neistat, because yeah. it's just two completely different things. Like, you can't say neither is better, because Casey's content is like, it's so different. Like, it depends on what you're judging on. If you're judging on, yeah. like, editing, Casey. If you're judging on, like, <laughs> how straight someone's life is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different, isn't it? I don't know. But I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm the dopest. But now, the real, yeah, it really does. It all really is relative. The one thing I will say is that I love vloggers. Like, the kind of thing we do, like, we, we add fun into it. I don't so like have any sort add, of video yeah. that's boring. We have to add some things. If we just vlogged our life. Yeah. We have zero subs. We win by personality as well. Personality <laughs> is also a key uh, thing. That's a big thing on my channel. Yeah, personality. <laughs> I, I can't say who this is from. Yeah, don't say his name. We were talking about creepy messages being sent, and nine minutes ago I received a message that said, I wish I could bury my nose in your armpit. I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is creep. What do you even say that? I will bury my nose in your armpit. That is the. <laughs> Anyways, people, this is a quick little QA. If this video goes viral, I'm gonna cook. I want 20% of that bitch. <laughs> <laughs>